out of my four trades this morning three were winners and one was a loser because the market decided to dump as soon as soon as I entered the trade I traded Pepsi Micron Technology Charles Schwab and uh, snap the first trade was on Pepsi and PEP -E and what I saw on Pepsi in the pre-market I saw that we kept bouncing off this 136 49 level or 136.50 actually so I saw that we were bouncing off this level and as soon as the market opened we dumped I told myself that I'm not gonna take the short but I will put a buy limit order at this price literally at the this line at 136 51 that's where I put my buy limit order because I knew that this price acted as support in the pre-market and I was not scared of the the, the price just coming down you know uh, the saying that we want to buy after there is blood on the street and I had that in mind the stock is literally bleeding and I was more than happy to take a stab at it I put the order right here and as soon as it came it came to this price it bounced whoop and I captured what so I got in at 136.51 I got out at 137.55 so I captured over a dollar move on this bounce pre-market support bounce this is what I'm calling this play and um, yeah so I knew that it could potentially go higher but I was well above my uh, profit target so I ran with the money and so the the second trade was on my wait, on, wait, on MU or micron technology M uh, micron technology is a stock that I trade all the time is on one of my charts regarding Pepsi by the way Pepsi was in play because it announced earnings and uh, it beat its revenue and its earnings and the stock was up 2% in the pre-market and that's what brought Pepsi to my attention with MU is a stock that I trade all the time and what I saw on MU was that you know we kept pushing higher and um, on the daily chart MU has been selling off so it's due for a bounce so I figured that I'm gonna put a buy order at VWAP the price was right here and then it came down to VWAP and then I got filled my order got executed at a 42.36 and then it just dropped big time I actually panicked I froze and the reason why it dumped was because of the market I'm gonna pull the spy um, uh, the market so this is the spy um, the spy tracks the market the spy dumped from 1 288 to 285 and unfortunately I got caught on that drop and um, I got out for a loss uh, my position size wasn't huge because my first trade was um, my first trade on Pepsi was uh, super profitable I was well within my daily profit goal and but I still had three more trades because I'm taking four trades no matter what so I did decrease my shares on this so uh, the hit wasn't that bad so the third trade was on a snap on snap and I'm actually proud of this trade snap the reason why I'm proud of this trade is because I found this 14 level in the pre-market so on the daily chart if we look on the the the, uh, the daily chart uh, this 14 level the price had bounced from 14 on this day on um, September uh, 23rd so I knew that if the well I told myself that if the price came down to 14 I was gonna take snap to the long side 
and um, sure enough um, it came down to 14 and I jumped in and just as I expected it kept moving higher and keep in mind that um, at 14 the volume increased significantly so I knew that I was on the right side of the trade and it moved higher and I cover uh, I sold my foot position at VWAP because I was well above my profit target uh, so on snap I got in at 14.04 I got out at 14.23 so I captured 19 cents per share and my risk was literally uh, the break of 14 so about 4 cents so that was a good trade um, I did use a trailing stop on snap just in case it squeezed above VWAP and as soon as we broke VWAP this black line which also coincided with this uh, daily level right here this is a price that was that acted as a support on the daily chart and now it became resistance at this point anyway um, I used a trailing stop of five cents and uh, I my trailing stop Order got filled and it continued m m moving higher but I made my money on it and, and that's what counts so the last trade was on Schwab where's Schwab so um, Schwab I've been watching now for the past three days because of the fact that all the online brokers are now offering a free commission uh, uh, trading so these stocks like Schwab, E-Trade and what have you um, they have been in play and on Schwab what I saw was we sold off and we kept holding this level um, we kept holding this let me go to the five minute on this so we kept holding this level my plan was to have a limit order sitting at 3501 because I figured at 3501 at the whole number of 35 we we're gonna have some type of reaction some, uh, some type of bounce so I, I was willing to take a stab at it but it never came down to 35 it got as low as 3507 let me zoom in it got as low as 3507 and uh, we and then what I saw was we we went up for a little bit and then we came down and I saw this bar and the increased volume which told me that the the likelihood that we were gonna test this low or come down to 35 was slim so I hit my hockey with a stop right below the low of the day and um, after consolidating for one two three four five bars it popped up and it squeezed above VWAP I instead of hitting the hockey I placed a five cent trailing stop just in case it continued to move higher it didn't and uh, I locked in profit at 35.47 I got in at 35.23 so I'm happy with the way I traded today out of my four trades three were winners the MU trade would actually have been a winner because what I anticipated actually happened on MU so let me go back to MU real quick so on MU when I decided to buy the bounce from here the plan was to take profit at this line right here which is yesterday's high and eventually that happened uh, in fact as you can see the price went way above it so my assessments was right it was just bad timing the market just dropped the entire market everything all the stocks and the on uh, the Nasdaq and uh, the in the market basically dropped at the same time so that was unfortunate so that being said I'm so happy with the way I traded today I stuck to my rules four trades three winners one loser and I'll take that any day
Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.